Welcome to another video from DIY Daily. Just put together a quick video, just running you through the fix for a fault on this 2019 Vauxhall Vivaro. Now on this one we have the engine hazard light on the dash there. We had a fault code stored in the reductant control module, the AdBlue module, some people call it the SCR module, which was P20BE, reductant heater 2 control circuit. Just thought I'd put this video on there just for a bit of information, just running you through what I've found the fault to be. It might not be this on yours, but it's a little bit of information. It might be worth checking if you've got this same fault code as well. Uh, but you can see we're using the top down diagnostic machine. Now, now that I fixed the fault, the fault's not in there, but basically it was a permanent fault, open circuit with that heater, and it was in the reduction control module. You can just see it's green now, no fault code stored in there at all. Um, but this is a wiring diagram for the actual reduction control module. This is the module there. This is the actual AdBlue tank itself. And you can just see we've got a reductant tank heater there. There's two wires going to that, one brown, one white. And then we've got a secondary heater as well, which is on like an inline heater on the AdBlue line there. So I'll just show you, basically the, that's actually the tank underneath. The ECU is just located behind the back of the seat. And just if you're interested as well, if you want to subscribe to the channel, we've got quite a few other videos on the River Varo. We've got another fault where we lost communication with the reductant tank ECU on another Vivaro, pretty similar age as well, that we did a few weeks ago. But yeah, just underneath the seat, the actual ECU just bolts down under there. There's a little cover that goes on the top of it. You can just see, we've just got the connector bared to it at the minute. But just to start with, what I was doing is just checking the continuity between the actual sensor on the tank there and the actual ECU, which you can see is pin 50 and pin 55 on the ECU, and then pin one and two on the add blue tank there. But I'll just get it up in the air now, to show you where I found the fault to be. But basically it has got two heaters on it. This is heat up, this must class as heater one. It was coming up with heater two, which looks like it, which has proven to be the actual inline heater. So I'll just send it up in the air now, and just show you what I found the fault to be. Now it's just coming underneath the vehicle. This is the add blue tank here. Now this one has actually been tripped really rough. It's a vehicle that travels across farms all the time and loads of the wiring. Normally on this had blue tank, there's a guard on the bottom. It has actually been ripped off. The heat shields have sort of sorted it out now a bit, but it had all been bent down as well. So it's had quite a bit of abuse on the on the fields and everything. Um, but basically the wiring from that had blue ECU. From on the inside there, just comes down there. Just say it runs down the side of the tank to the underneath there. But basically on the pump here, this connector there, that's actually, this part of it is the actual reductant heater, heater one. And just them two wires there, the brown and the white one, is the two wires to that, which I kind of knew it was okay, so I know there's no issues there. Um, but the actual reductant heater two, which is the sort of inline heater, this is the connector there for the add blue pipe. And you can just see we've got two wires in there and it runs to it. There's normally a connector there. And that's where we had the problem on this one. So I should say the wire had been snagged, damaged the wires a bit, and then they'd rotted out. And I'll just show you the connector there. I've just basically bypassed that connector, but the two wires are pulled out just on the back there. So basically all I've done is just rejoin them wires and bypass that. And the fault code has just come straight out of it now, whereas before it was a permanent fault code, you couldn't clear it, it just comes straight back in. So I just thought I'd put that together as a quick video. If you've got that same fault code, and it's relating to heater two, it's likely to be relating to this inline heater. If I just show you the uh, wiring at the injector end as well, you can just see on the AdBlue injector itself, you've just got two wires there that tie into the same bit of loom as well. So just like an inline heater to it. So hope the video helped. If it did, give it a quick thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.